radiates his divine presence. It's God's throne. He wears a crown of gold on his head, representing a gold wreath of victory, his victory over death and sin. So we know in the imagery of John's vision, that sickle, and that is the tool for harvesting. Now, you probably know what a sickle is used for, but this imagery shows us the quickness. And of course, let me describe what, what a sickle is. It's a long blade, short handle, and I've used them before, and you probably have too. When you take and cut weeds, boy, it's, it's right off, and it, you can grab those weeds right away or the grass right away. So that's the imagery that he's using to harvest. And Christ as judge comes to reap his harvest, gathering in, first of all, the elect, those who have been faithful, faithful to his word. So we read in the harvest that the harvest is ripe and is time for the final judgment and the gathering in the righteousness or the righteous. So the Son of Man wields his sickle over the earth and brings in his harvest. So let's kind of go to the first read or the second reading, the gospel reading. And if you remember, don't forget the first reading, what we just talked about, the judgment and the revelation part of it. But you remember the fires that destroyed Notre Dame in Paris in what in 2019? This French Gothic icon that stood firm and glorious for more than, what, 800 years. The fire was unfathomable. Thank God the walls were remained upright, and a Herculean project uh, had been afoot to restore this monument and church today. So here we go to our gospel reading for today, and the audience who heard Jesus say that the temple in Jerusalem well, will be destroyed, must have shaken their heads in disbelief. God would not let this beautiful structure in the house of prayer be ruined. How could this happen? Jesus and many of those who heard him say would not live to see it, but Jerusalem was taken by the Romans, and they thoroughly destroyed the temple in around 70 AD. Yet all that is truly good and beautiful remained, and remains today in the church that Christ founded. So when Jesus spoke, he was not speaking primarily about some historical forecast about the building. He was calling people, people like you and me, to focus their attention and their lives on God, for whom this building was dedicated. This is a God of spirit and a God of truth, not geographically confined. Through the incarnation, the Lord no longer dwells only in the sanctuary, but among each one of us. The Holy Spirit dwells in us. An authentic work of worship of God is not limited to any mountain or any temple. We are consecrated to the, with that spirit in our baptism and in our confirmation. So the theme of the final judgment, going back to that first reading, is one that goes right through our readings as we approach the end of our liturgical year. It's a time to reflect on where we stand before God and before each other. These reminders are not meant to frighten, but, but to help us, help us to prepare, and above all, to be ready at all times. To be vigilant in our prayer life each and every day is paramount. For our judgment is as close as the day of our death, which can come on, come upon us just like a thief in the night. And so, brothers and sisters, it is the Lord who establishes our souls as his sanctuary. As we prayed just a few minutes ago, let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice 
Let the sea what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful in all that is in them. May we be pure in, in a holy sanctuary for him. Always. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. Grant that it become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. Grant that it become for us our spiritual drink. Behold Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who come to the supper of the Lamb. i 